let's talk about power of lens what is it I want to talk about power of lens with the help of a diagram look at this diagram let's say this is a convex lens and this is its principal axis and this is bisector line and if a ray of light is coming like this parallel to the principal axis then all of we know that it passes through focus and this is its focus now I want to show another convex lens in the same way let's say this is another convex lens and this bisector line and this is principal axis if a ray of light is coming parallel to the principal axis it focuses on it converts on focus I need to say it it will pass through focus like this now what is the difference now I want to ask you difference what is the difference there are two differences which can be seen clearly I made this thicker than this one this is thinner and this thicker and second matter is it is focused very near to the lens but it is focused far away from the lens it means the distance from optical center to the focus this this distance which is called focal length is less in this case this is optical optical center to the focus distance between optical center to the focus is called focal length and focal length is less in this case but here distance from optical center to the focus focal length is more okay this is one case now I want to show you another case also look at this this is let's say concave lens this is a concave lens okay. this is principal axis and this is bisector line and a ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis appears to be diverse from a point of principal axis and this point is focus here it diverges now I want to make another one also look at this this is also concave lens and this is bisector line and this is principal axis now a ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis appears to be diverged from a point after refraction this way let's say it diverges and this is its focus now what is the difference between these two lens in this case the distance from this optical center to the focus is comparatively less but in this case the distance from optical center to the focus is comparatively more actually this diagram represents the power of lens what is power of lens actually in this case the converging capacity of the lens if this convex lens is not present then what happens uh, the light ray goes like this but because of the convex lens this much with this much angle uh, the light is focused and in this case if there was not con convex lens then light passes this way but it is converged this much what it means the converging capacity of this lens is greater than converging capacity of this lens and in the same way look at this if this lens is not present then the light goes this side this way and this is the angle because of this uh, convex lens it is diverse by this much angle in the same way look at this here also it is diverse by this angle it means diverging capacity of this lens is greater than diverging capacity of this lens both of them are convex lens, concave lens both of them are diverging the ray of light but diverging capacity of first lens is greater than second lens and in the same way in case of convex lens also di converging capacity of first lens is greater than second lens 
Actually, what is power of lens? Power of lens is answered here. The converging capacity or diverging capacity of the lens is called power of lens. The converging or diverging capacity of the lens is power of lens. And this way we can define power of lens. It means we can compare these two. Here power is more. We can compare these two. Here power is less. But mathematically, how can we calculate power of lens? Power of lens can be calculated by using this equation. Power of lens is equal to reciprocal of the focal length. We can define power in terms of measurement also this way. Power of lens is the reciprocal of its focal length. If focal length is more, power will be less. And if focal length is less, power will be more. That's why power is the focal uh, reciprocal of the focal length of the lens. Now, next matter. What is the unit of power? Power is measured, power of lens is measured in diopter, D-I-O-P-T-R-E diopter. And it is symbolized by capital D. Don't forget this. This is the unit of what? Power of lens. But power of lens is diopter if focal length is taken in meter. That's why. While solving numerical problem, we have to remember that if we take focal length in meter, then only the power will be diopter, otherwise not. This way, uh, we can define power of lens by two ways. One in terms of converging or diverging capacity. Another way, we can define power of lens in terms of what? Reciprocal of the focal length. In both the cases, we can, uh, we can uh, write in examination, both the, both the type we can use in examination, but if we have to calculate, then we'll use this equation. Okay, next class, we'll calculate power of lens.